Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss inclined offset slider crank mechanism, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. In this picture shown is an inclined offset slider crank mechanism. So the inclination of slider is at an angle theta 1 with the horizontal and crank length is L2, coupler length is L3 and offset is E and angle between horizontal and crank is theta 2, angle between horizontal and L3 that is coupler is theta 3. So let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations to find displacement, velocity and acceleration and also towards the end of this video I am going to solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in the extreme position when L2 and L3 come in line, so the slider will assume this position here. So in this position, this length from crank center to slider is L2 plus L3. Angle between this inclination and this line L2 plus L3 is theta 4. So in this position we have this height is E and this length is L2 plus L3 and this inclined line here. So we form a right angle triangle. So from this triangle we can find theta 4 as theta 4 equal to E by L2 plus L3. So from this theta 4 equal to sine inverse E by L2 plus L3. So here we have angle between this inclined line and horizontal is theta 1 and angle between horizontal and this crank is theta 2. So angle between this crank and this inclined line can be written as theta 2 minus theta 1. Similarly angle between horizontal and coupler link is theta 3 and this angle here from uh, this horizontal to this inclined line this line is parallel to this inclined line so that is theta 1 so angle between this inclined line and this red line that is coupler is theta 1 minus theta 3 so here we can see the distance from this point to this point is y. So y can be written as L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 that is also equal to E plus L3 sin theta 1 minus theta 3. So from this diagram. So from this diagram we can from this equation we can write theta 3 equal to theta 1 plus sin inverse E minus L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 by L3. So this is the coupler angle at any given crank angle theta 2. Using this equation we can find theta 3. Now let us differentiate this equation y with respect to time t. So L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to E plus L3 sin theta 1 minus theta 3. So after uh, differentiating with respect to time, this will become L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to 0. So E is constant. So differentiation of constant with respect to time is 0 minus for this one minus L3 omega 3 cos theta 1 minus theta 3. So from this equation we can find angular velocity of coupler link omega 3 equals equal to minus L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 by L3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. After differentiating the equation y with respect to time twice and simplifying we can find angular acceleration of coupler link alpha 3 as alpha 3 equal to L2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 minus theta 1 minus L2 alpha 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 minus theta 1 by L3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. So in this equation omega 2 is angular velocity of crank, alpha 2 is angular acceleration of crank. Omega 3 is angular velocity of coupler and alpha 3 is angular acceleration of coupler. Now from this diagram when uh, the slider is at extreme position. So the length from crank center to slider is L2 plus L3. So this angle is theta 4 that we have seen in the previous slides. So this distance from crank center to the slider position along this inclined line can be written as L2 plus L3 into cos theta 4. So this distance from here to here let us see, let us say that x1 and from here to here it is x2 and from here to here it is s that is a displacement of slider. So let us see the equations x1 can be written as x1 equal to L2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1. So 
L2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1, the horizontal component of this red line, uh, the component of this red line along this inclination, that is x1 is L2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1. Similarly, the component of this line coupler along this inclination can be written as that is x2 equal to L3 cos theta 1 minus theta 3. So, the displacement for any given crank angle theta, theta 2 is S. So, S can be written as S equal to uh, this total distance L2 plus L3 into cos theta 4 minus X1 minus X2. So, that is written here. So, displacement of slider S equal to L2 plus L3 cos theta 4 minus L2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 for X1 minus L3 cos theta 1 minus theta 3 for X2. So, using this equation, we can find displacement of slider for any given crank angle theta 2 along this inclined line. Now, in this slide, let us see velocity and acceleration of slider along this inclined line. So, to find velocity, we need to differentiate this equation S with respect to time once. So, V equal to dS by dt. So, after differentiating this equation and simplifying, we can get velocity of slider along this inclined plane, inclined line is V equal to L2 omega 2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 sin theta 3 minus theta 1. Here, omega 2 is angular velocity of crank, omega 3 is angular velocity of coupler link. Similarly, to find acceleration, we need to differentiate this equation with respect to time twice. So, after differentiating and simplifying, we can get acceleration of slider along this inclined line is a equal to L2 omega 2 square cos theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L2 alpha 2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 square cos theta 3 minus theta 1 plus L3 alpha 3 sin theta 3 minus theta 1. So, again here uh, alpha 2 is angular acceleration of crank, alpha 3 is angular acceleration of coupler link. Using this equation, we can find acceleration of slider along this uh, inclined line, inclined plane. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So, in this problem, we have taken L2 crank length 480 mm, L3 coupler length 1600 mm, and omega, omega 2 that is uh, angular velocity of crank is 10 radians per second and angular acceleration of the crank that is alpha 2 is 30 radians per second, uh, second square and theta 1 is 30 degrees offset E equal to 100 millimeter. So, using the previously derived equation, we found theta 4 equal to 2.7476 degrees. So, in this uh, spreadsheet, so this column is theta 2 uh, uh, crank angle from 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees. And in this column, we have found uh, uh, displacement of slider and in this column, velocity of slider here uh, acceleration of the slider and here theta 3, omega 3 and alpha 3. So, all these are calculated for crank angles 0 to 360 degrees. Now, in the coming slides, let us see the graphs. So, in this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus uh, slider displacement, yes. So, theta 2 along horizontal and yes, displacement of the slider is along vertical. So, this is the graph. And similarly, in this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus theta 3. Similarly, theta 2 is along horizontal, theta 3 is along vertical. So, this is the variation of theta 3 with respect to theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus velocity of the slider and theta 2 versus angular velocity of coupler link. So, this blue curve is velocity of the slider with respect to um, crank angle theta 2, theta 2 along horizontal and along vertical we have plotted velocity of the slider and similarly this yellow curve is omega 3 angular velocity of coupler uh, along vertical. So, this is the variation of the uh, omega 3. Similarly, in this graph also we have plotted along horizontal theta 2 along vertical acceleration of slider and angular acceleration of uh, coupler link. So, this blue curve is acceleration of uh, slider with respect to crank angle theta 2. Similarly, this yellow curve is angular variation of angular acceleration of coupler link with respect to crank angle. So, that's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.